Hello everyone, Black Ice here and welcome back to Pokemon Sun. Last time we left off, we were let into the Aether Foundation's Aether Paradise Weird Island thing. And today we're going to go take a look around and explore, see what's here for us. Wow, there are even Pokemon that got done in by Team Skull, huh? Um, apparently, I guess. If you'd like to meet President Lusamine, she's here in the conversation or <laughs> conversation conservation area now. All right, so I guess we'll have to go find Lusamine. Let's see if this gentleman will let us through. Suda Widow is a Pokemon that pretends to be a tree in order to protect itself. But wouldn't it be better to disguise itself as the kind of tree you actually see here in Alola? Y you know what? Th this man right here is a genius. Why doesn't Suda Widow have an Alola form? Wouldn't that just make a whole lot of sense? Maybe in Pokemon Ultra Sun and Pokemon Ultra Moon. Anyway, I guess we can't get through here. Suda Widow would? No, um, I have the Z power thing for water, though, so you better fear me like those other Suda Widow. Hello, who are you? The PC boxes were first developed by a guy in the Kanto region named Bill. Apparently, he's a real Pokemon maniac. Yes, I guess you can call him that. Imagine using the same Pokemon in your boxes in battle again after hundreds of years. It's kind of like a time machine, isn't it? Or like a time capsule or something. Yeah, you're sort of right, I guess, but also not really. When Pokemon evolve, their appearance can change quite a lot. Some Pokemon can also change forms, which can change how they look and their stats. And then there are the regional variants, which are quite another thing altogether. Pokemon don't just change into regional variants like they might change forms. Alright, gotcha. Starmie is known as the mysterious Pokemon. If it's really a star from the night sky appearing to us in a different form, then it's a Pokemon... Then it's like a Pokemon is just trying us, or is just using us humans and making us take care of it. I don't know about that. Do you ever match things like that? I do. No, no, I don't think so. I think you're a little bit uh, strange. Also, I butchered the reading of your dialogue, so apologies, friend. Looks like we're going all the way up into the back part. Oh, or not. Um, it's around here. Oh, does this just go back to the center? It sure does. Alright, so we don't want to go there now. We need to find Lusamine. Who is apparently here somewhere, although I'm not seeing her. Regional variants. It can all be a bit it can all seem a bit complicated, but think about it like this. If you visit a tropical region, you get a tan, right? Isn't it something like that? No. Tan is not well, I mean a tan like you're saying is not evolution. I mean, it goes away after a little while. Those regional variants don't go away. My sweet Pokemon, I promise I'll keep you safe. I'll protect you with my love. Ah. You have weird big hair. You must be Black Ice and Howe. Welcome to Aether Paradise, the Aether Foundation's own private island. I am the president of the Foundation, but please, just call me Lusamine. I'm so glad that we got to meet. I'm glad there are people like you who travel the islands to learn more about Pokemon. But there are also those unfortunate people who harm Pokemon for their own selfish reasons, or even for profit. And that's why I am here. I will be like a mother to all those poor Pokemon and shower them with love. Even Pokemon from distant worlds, far from the Alola region, are worthy of my love. Wow, Miss Lusamine. I don't know how you do all this. You're like, not even that much older than us. Oh, you sweet boy. I'm already over 40. What? You are? Lies, I don't believe you. Oh my god, he's like scared. He's like, wait, what? Oh, you... The right style does wonders, you know? And how your style is a bit wanting, hmm? I'll have to take you out sometime and help you pick out a smashing outfit. L like what you wear? I don't think anyone else could pull off that kind of look. Except maybe Lily. Oh, don't you worry. You just leave everything up to me. Trust me, children would, be, would all be much happier if they'd only listen to the adults around them. Eh, kinda. Like for the most part, I'd say. But also, not like 100% of the time. What's going on here, by the way? And there's my character with that stupid blank stare and that stupid smile on his face. I, again, I just can't 
project onto the main avatar player in this game. They have no emotion. Besides whatever that dumb smile is supposed to be. Anyway, that tremor. Did something happen on the lower floors? I don't know, I'm just standing here smiling. Oh, I'm not smiling anymore. I have a somewhat concerned look on my face for the first time in forever. As a giant jellyfish appears from the wall. Whoa, what is that? It's a weird looking uh thing there. The heck's going on? Oh, I thought the game crashed. Did you come from another world? Brr, it's cold in here. Miss Lucimine, stand back. That thing's not right. Nah, it's just cold, Hal. It just needs a jacket or something. You poor creature. What's Hal doing? Zert, I've never seen a Pokemon like that. Uh, are we really gonna fight that... that thing? Ah, uh, shut up, Rotom Pokedex. Of course I am. That hole. That Pokemon. What in the world are they? You poor creature. I'll just say the same thing over and over again forever. Oh, wait, is that thing actually moving towards us? No, it just looked like it was. Black Ice, can you distract that thing? I've got to get Miss Loose Mean out of here. Brr, I'm so cold. All right, well, I don't know if I have any fire-type attacks, but we're fighting whatever this is. Three question marks appeared, except it's actually a jellyfish. Also, it's a totem Pokemon. Look at that uh, aura. It's got big defense ra raising. Alright, so jellyfish are water type, right? So Pikachu should be, be really good in this fight. Isn't that right, Pikachu? Use Grass Knot. Oh, okay, it's a poison type. I'm an idiot. Of course it's poison type. It's a jellyfish. I'm sorry, Pikachu. Beast Boost, uh-oh. Special Defense Rose. Oh, jeez. Alright, well, let's use another Pokemon here. Alright, so poison type. We don't want to send out Cutie Fly, that's for sure. Um, we have Mudray. Who we lean on so heavily, but I also, I don't care, because Mudbray's amazing. Alright, Mudbray, go get him. Use high horsepower. Venishock's not going to hurt too bad, because, well... Oh, uh, well, yeah, we resisted a little bit, and we're not poisoned. Get our defense up a little bit. Let's hope high horsepower does some... Holy crap. Good job, Mudbray. Alright. Let's go ahead. Oh, all right. We can't use our Pokeballs here because the Aether Foundation has them disabled. That and, like, you know, you actually... Just... Can you catch them with... I don't think so. Eh, whatever. I'm not going to try. I know, I know. It's an Ultra Beast. Um, and I personally don't consider Ultra Beasts to be actual Pokemon. That's just my opinion, though. I don't like them. I think they'd be cooler if they weren't Pokemon. But they are, so we have to deal with it, and Mudbray is going to give it a nice kick in the freaking face. Get him, Mudbray! That is right. Get absolutely destroyed. Mudbray to level 25. And yeah, we need to uh, praise Mudbray for its hard work. Alright, buddy. So, we need to clean you off. You got a little bit of mud on you. I mean, I know your name is Mudbray, but still, we can't have you walking around like that. There you go. Isn't that a lot better? You're so happy now. Who's a good horsey donkey thing? You're real happy, so you know what? I'm going to give you a bean. Do we have any mud beans? Oh, wait a minute. We have those pattern ones. Do any of these look like a mud pattern? This one kind of... No, oh, that's flowers. It almost does, though. Ah, what the heck, just have one of these rainbow beans. I'm sure they're, like, really tasty or something. Nom nom nom. Wow, look how happy you are. Yes, yes, you're super excited to have eaten that rainbow bean. Because you did a great job in that battle. Oh, no, no evolution. Dang it, I was hoping Mudbray would evolve. Uh, fun fact, um, in my first playthrough of this game, I lost this fight. Uh, had to do with my team composition, but um, I lost this fight. You can lose this fight, and it doesn't give you like an instant game over. So, uh, yeah, just wanted to share that there. I'm glad I won, and I'm actually very surprised at how easily I 
pretty much did. Anyway, the unidentified creature had disappeared. It's gone now. So, it's true. I still need that Pokemon. I need to get it back. What? Miss Lucimine, did you say something? Oh, that's a creepy look you just gave right there. That creature we just saw was undoubtedly an Ultra Beast. An unknown being from another dimension that suddenly appears from the Ultra Wormhole. It looked like it was suffering. Like it pained it to be in this strange place. Like it was cold or something. I knew I should have given it a jacket. But I, you know, I just can't bear to see that happen. I will save it. And I will love it! Alright, you're a little crazy. Uh, thank you. Both of you. Thank you so much. I don't, I don't know about this place anymore. <laughs> got crazy Lusamine running things. Wick. These two are still in the middle of their island challenge, aren't they? Please deliver them on their next island. Oh ho, at once, ma'am. I don't know why I'm talking like this now. I will go check that none of our poor resident Pokemon came to any harm. And I need to speak with Mr. Faba about exactly what happened downstairs. And of course, I will have to start preparing the foundation for our newest and perhaps greatest duty yet. The protection of the Ultra Beasts. Well, you should have protected that one for me. I, I destroyed it. I'll see the two of you on Ula Ula Island then. Oh, and by the way, Lusamine, his name's Mr. Green Man, not Mr. Fava. Bye! Yeah, you go love things, you crazy woman. She's like, I will find it, and I will love it! Yeah, this just, and that smile, ugh, creepy. I never thought I'd actually get to see the ultra wormhole in my life. We've got to tell Professor Burnett about this the next time we see her. I don't know if what happened should be rightly described as an accident, but I think it's probably best if you do so. Anyway, I was very glad to meet you both. Please take this to remember your visit. Some malasadas for how? Because he is very simple-minded. I'm just kidding. That's that's rude. I'm sorry, Hal. You're a good guy. Yes, big malasadas. Awesome. Isn't it crazy how malasadas taste even better when you eat them together with someone else? I like friendship. Yes, uh, I think I know what you mean. Meals always taste better when you share them with the ones you love. That's kind of true. And for you, Black Ice, uh, an actual important thing, a TM for the move Psychic. Sorry, Hal. Alright, well thanks, that's uh, very kind of you. I'll see if any of my Pokemon can learn that. I doubt it, but, you know, I'll check. I hope you both have wondrous adventures on your island challenge. Wait, but, but wait. We will. Thanks, Miss Wick. Like, John Wick? Oh my god, if this is John Wick's, like, ex-wife or something. Like, ex-ex-wife, twice removed, or, I don't know. I don't know how that works in the John Wick universe. Anyway, ho, oh, my heart's still kind of racing, you know? I'm so glad we're on this weird airplane boat thing. The Ultra Wormhole is real, and Ultra Beasts are real too. The world's just way too big, and that lady in the front's just like, what are you talking about, kid? I bet we'll discover even more new things in the next island too. We're going to Ula Ula Island. We're gonna need all the energy we can get. Time to dig in. Okay, so we're on a boat, not an airplane. Oh, he's eating the malasadas now. You want a malasada? Yeah, give me one. That way I get Malasadas and a TM for Psychic. Ah, so good. Shoot, I already ate the whole thing. Well, I mean, I guess that's fine. I, I did get the better prize after all. Oh, here we go. Got it illustrated on the map anime style. Ula Ula Island. Yes, um... Please, let us, let us off the boat. I need to take a Charizard off of Ula Ula Island because I still wanted to go back to that place with the stones and I never really got the chance to do that. Or maybe I did and I just forgot to like do what I was going to do, but anyway. Oh right, and the fossil! I completely forgot. Uh, whatever. We can do that later. I mean, I'm probably not going to use the fossil Pokemon on my team anyway. Land ahoy! Alright, terra firma underfoot again. Since when have you been talking like that? How do you know- how does an 11 year old know what terra firma means? Like, for real, though. Ula Ula Island is like another totally different place than Mele Mele or Akala, huh? It's almost like these islands are different from each other, and they're not the same exact place. I've got an idea, Black Eyes. Let's have a battle. All right, if you really want to get your butt kicked. I want my Pokemon to get a deep breath of this fresh new air. Don't worry, I'll make sure both of our teams are in fighting form first. Well, at least you're being a good sport about it. Thanks, buddy. 
All right, time to battle Hal, apparently. I didn't remember about this fight, but, you know, apparently we're gonna do it. All right, he's got three Pokemon. Ooh, he's got Raichu. Ooh, and it's an Alolan Raichu. Neat. Well, um, I kind of don't think Pikachu is going to be much of a match for an Alolan Raichu. So you know what? Let's send out Mudbray, because we're immune to electric-type attacks. And, you know, now that I think about it, hopefully it doesn't have Grass Knot, because that would be pretty bad. And it has Psychic, which is, like, equally bad. In fact, I don't know if Mudbray can... I think Mudbray only toughened that one out because of the affection thing. Yeah. Alright, and we're not gonna be faster, so you know what? Let's switch out Mudbray. Um... Oh. Well, I mean, you could take a Psychic for sure, Cutie Fly, because you're part Bug-type, and... I don't know if you resist it, but you're definitely not weak to it. Oh, and it's using Quick Attack anyway, because, um, he's a dummy. Alright, that's fine by me. Uh, let's go... Go Struggle Bug or Silver Wind? Yeah, we go for Struggle Bug. We need a lowered special attack so the rest of our team could maybe take a hit. I think. Oh no, Cutie Fly! Oh, this is bad. He might win. I mean, I'm just saying, he might just, like, win. Alright, um, let's send out Dartrix. We do have Shadow Claw, so. I mean, we're gonna be weak against the electric attacks, but Shadow Claw should be super effective, I believe. Not that it's stab, but it'll help. Only use Psychic anyway for some reason. All right, well, whatever. Use Shadow Claw. It is super effective, but not getting the job done. All right, let's just hope for Quick Claw here. Come on, Dartrix, I believe. Nope. All right. Um. Oh, whoa, Dartrix, you did it. Oh, I, I, I completely understand now. Now Dartrix is going to go for the Quick Claw use. All right, let's do it, buddy. What did I tell you guys? Dartrix is... Oh. What? Dartrix, you legend. Oh, my goodness. What an emotional roller coaster in this battle. Oh, so many EXPs. Level 25 for Dartrix, and that's not including our other Pokemon. Mudbray to 26. Pikachu's gonna go at least to 22. 23. Wants to learn Double Team. Yeah, no, no don't get too crazy. All right, but we'll we'll give it a look. Yeah, uh, yeah, no thanks. I didn't think so, but I wanted to at least give it a look. Flareon. All right, let's switch because Wishy Washy should be good against Flareon, right? You would hope so. Wait, how did he get a Flareon? Oh, right, because he went to the stone place and we didn't get to go. Makes sense, actually, because you can catch Eevee in that route right before there. Maybe I should have done that. <laughs> oh, well. Um, there's also that Eevee you can hatch, but anyway, not the point. Let's use Brine. Firefang, that seems like it's gonna... Oh. Right, uh, I don't know why I thought that would hurt. I mean, it's a physical attack, and I think our physical defense is slightly worse than our special defense. Anyway, I don't know. We were just going to use Brian again and get the job done. Wow, wishy-washy, avoiding the attack. Very nice. Alright, it's a good thing our Pokemon love us. Otherwise, we would have lost this battle for sure. Good job, wishy-washy. Level 29, dang. Alright, who's going to send out now? Brion. So, yeah, we're going to switch Pokemon. Um... We'd switch into Pikachu. Pikachu's probably faster, right? And plus, I mean, we have the type advantage now. 29! Am I underleveled? I might be underleveled. Anyway, go for the charge beam. Hopefully get our special attack up a little bit. Oh my god. Right, I forgot this Pokemon was a tank, and I also didn't take into account Z-moves, which again, I need to equip some Z-crystals on my Pokemon. I think I will do that, actually. Hydro freaking Vortex. Oh my, oh my goodness, Pikachu, no! I'm sorry, P I'm so bad to my Pikachu. Okay, well, I guess it's Trumbeak's turn. We don't have any sort of type advantage, but neither does 
Brion, or Brioni, however you say it. Anyway, we're gonna go for Pluck, our strongest move. We don't need to worry about any barriers, so Brick Break's not too, too, it's not a great option. Plus, I don't know if it's part fairy type at this stage. Oh my goodness. Yeah, Tank was right. Okay, um, we do go first, don't we? I could use Roost, but let's just go for Roost. We'll, we'll spam Roost until we get an opening, I think. Because it could just keep using Bubble Beam, and it will get us down eventually, because Roost only does half your HP, and this Bubble Beam's taken out more than that. Yeah, we'll spam Roost until until it goes for, like, some kind of not-as-powerful attack than Bubble Beam. You know, like, he was doing the quick attack with um, his Raichu. So hopefully we can get something like that to happen. Oh, hang in there, Trumbeak. Alright. And we use Roost again. Hoping for the best. This is probably not the best strategy, but... It's a strategy that exists. Now nah, it's going for Bubble Beam again. I'm sorry, Trumbeak, I failed you. Alright, well, we have Mudbray, who will be KO'd instantly. We have Wishiwashi, who does stand a chance. And we also have Dartrix, who... We might as well switch in and hope for a Quick Claw, because other than that, Dartrix is, like, gone. Well, then again, I wrote Dartrix off earlier, and Dartrix really came through, so we're gonna go for the Razor Leaf. Yeah, it didn't work. Can only get so lucky, right? Oh my god, Dartrix, you're the best Pokemon in the entire world! Like, seriously, though, and especially if you get the Quick Claw off right now, you will be... You cannot make this stuff up. This Dartrix is so good! Oh my god! Freaking MVP ace status! You're definitely the ace of this team, Dartrix. I know Mudbray and Wishy Washy have gotten us out of some really tight jams and have been really powerful, but nothing compares to the odds that you have defied to win this battle against Hal here. Wah! That battle took my breath away! I can't breathe the fresh air that way! Uh, help! 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 I can't breathe! I'm just kidding. Anyway, we're supposed to meet up with the professor, right? Where was it? Mally Garden? Why do you want us to go to Garden? Guess we'll have to find out when we get there, right? It's not like there will be any Pokemon there or anything in a stupid garden. There's only vegetables. I don't like vegetables. I like malasadas. Anyway, enough making fun of Hal. You've made it to Ula Ula Island now, big boy. Why you calling me big boy? You're a Pokedex. Pokemon thing. Yeah, you're weird. This means a whole new island Pokedex, is it? It's all up to you what new Pokemon you'll uncover here, Black Ice. Zit. Alright, well, nice to, like, never talk to you again. Let's go heal up our Pokemon now. I don't know if How did that for us when he left. I doubt it, but... Oh, no, he did. How is a super nice guy. Anyway, we should heal here so that way, if... Whatever, you know... I don't know why. I think you have to... Do you have to heal the Pokemon Center in order to fly to it anymore? I don't know. Remember you used to. Anyway, that's what we're doing now. Because that way we can fly Charizard back. But I do want to quickly go back to Akala Island and get some stones. If we don't already have them. We may have already gotten them and I just forgot. Oh, right. There's those quick things that I forgot to use. Oh, well. Um, can we fly to the other islands? We can. Okay. So we needed to go to, like, Coney, Coney City or whatever. Yeah, there we go. Come on, Charizard, let's go! Man, I still can't believe how good freaking Dartrix was in this battle. I mean, we should have lost so bad, but we didn't. Because Dartrix is the best. Alright, anyway, let's go back to the shop. Uh, do you sell the stones? I believe you do, yes. Okay, um... Fire, Thunder, Water, and Leaf. Yeah, I'll buy one of each. Even though we already have a Fire Stone. You know, better have, like, two than one. And I'll... I still don't know if I want to use the Thunder Stone on Pikachu, because Pikachu, clearly still the weakest Pokemon on the team, can hardly take a hit, and honestly does not really do enough damage. So I don't know if we want to use that right now. I'm going to use the quick things just to get back to Ula Ula Island. Yeah, go there, please. Thank you. 
I'm not entirely sure because there's also like level up moves to take into consideration and it's just, I don't know. I really don't know. Like I do want Alolan Raichu eventually. Which is why I have Pikachu on the team right now. And why I bought a Thunderstone. You know, those times when you do nothing at all and just laze about, they could really be a beautiful thing. Yeah, I agree. But that's not the important thing right now. Ooh, ooh, Island is so big that riding on Pokemon doesn't always cut it for everyone. A lot of people take the bus, too. Because they're forced to by the game. When your Pokemon evolve, do they think they... Do you think they feel like, yes, finally? I don't know. Do they know they're gonna evolve? I don't know. Seriously? I just got Mewtwo through Wonder Trade. Wait, you did? Dude, give him to me! Oh yeah, right, um, I forgot. Eh, then might as well. So, oh, you just give me a rare candy for no reason, alright. Thank you, I will take it. Um, you know what, let's celebrate with a... Celebrate? Let's celebrate with a little lemonade. And I'll check out the shop real quick before we end the episode, just in case there's new stuff here. I mean, there will be, uh, to some extent, because there's two shop people. Yeah, yeah, candy bar. Thanks for the Rage candy bar. Um, I'll eat that later. It's totally not going to be for my Pokemon. Yeah, thanks for the beans, too. All right, um, see you never. Thanks for the candy, and yeah, you gave me a lot of candy. It's a little weird. Um, yeah, nothing new here. And I probably don't need to buy any of that. So we'll go check this out. Oh, he's got lots of TMs. That could be good. Ooh, Swords Dance. U-Turn, well, is U-Turn really all that good, though? You know, this would probably be pretty good if Wishy Washy could learn it. Let's go check it out. Well, I mean, we have to buy it first, but nah, we'll, we'll try it. Bulldoze is pretty good. Don't know if I need that, though. Rock Polish, not really. Steel Wing. Maybe. I mean, that might be good for Trumbeak to take out. No, because we already have the Fighting type attack. Yeah, I think Steel Wing's probably not the best. Aerial Ace is pretty good. Might be better than Pluck, actually. Let's take it. It doesn't miss. Facade's good. Smackdown is, like, real good. Let's just take Smackdown. Uh, I'm not going to take Facade, though. I, I'm just going to stick with those three TMs. Um, and let's go ahead and prove our team a little bit here. Yep, Soda Pop. Let's, uh, I keep pressing the wrong button to sort. Uh, yep, we got our Evolutionary Stones. Gotcha. Alright, and then Smackdown, Psychic, Aerial Ace. Okay, so... Let's go see if this is better than Pluck. It might be. It's 60 power. Pluck is 60 power. Alright, I am going to go for Aerial Ace over Pluck, just because it can't miss. Um, I've almost never used uh, Pluck's secondary effect, which is like it steals the effects of the berry the Pokemon's holding. Um, I don't think Cutie Fly is... I don't think Aerial Ace would be great for Cutie Fly, but let's go for... Um, oh, wait a minute. Channel Claw. Max Charge Beam. Smart Strike, still no one can learn that. U-Turn. Wishy-Washy can use U-Turn. Alright, that's going to be fantastic because not only is Wishy-Washy a good special attacker, or not special attacker, physical attacker, but... Ooh. What do I want to get rid of, though? You know, probably Takedown. Takedown's good, but... I don't think having a move that lowers your health is super great for Wishiwashi's ability, but U-Turn also gives Wishiwashi a way to deal with grass types. So that's pretty good too. Alright, that's nice. Um Oh no, I didn't mean to exit the inventory thing. Ah, whatever. Go back. Because we got more Z stuff. So Normalium Z. Firium Z. Ooh, that's right. I think I want to give Grassium Z to, um, Dartrix. Even though, well, do I though? Because that Quick Claw has been so good. You know what? I think I'll leave the Quick Claw on for now. Um, can you fly as a Grass type attack? Really? I mean, I do want to give Cutie Fly A Z power. Which it looks like Grassium Z is the only one. So, yeah, I guess we'll. I forget what grass type attack we have, but I mean it's better than just the stupid honey thing So yeah, we'll go ahead and give cutie fly grassium Z and I think I might give that to Pikachu as well I mean just because we don't have an Electrium Z and We do have grass knot. So yeah, I'll give this to Pikachu as well Because I don't think Pikachu was even holding an item. Yeah, it wasn't even holding an item 
Alright, um... And, yeah, leave the Quick Claw on for Dartrix for now. Fight... Phytinium Z? I think I want to give that to... Mudbray, probably? Wait a minute. I gotta check the moves, because, I mean, Z-Powers do different things depending on what moves you have. Like, you saw that Mudbray could have had a normal thing, but let's see, what is Mudbray? Oh, Stomp, so yeah, that wouldn't be anything. So, uh, yeah, I think we want to give Mudbray probably the Phytinium Z. And who else could have had that? Trumbeak? Trumbeak has a sharp beak, yeah, so that powers a flying type attack, so... Probably want to stick with that. I really want to give Wishy Washy a Z crystal, but I don't. Yeah, we have the water one. Why don't I? Yeah, for sure. Well, wait a minute. Just make sure Wishy Washy can't have anything else. Yeah. All right. Because we still do have only special water attacks. All right, and then we give the Phytinium Z to Mudbray. All right, and I think that's good as far as Z powers go. We're pretty stacked in terms of that type. Did I give you the f oh fighting one? Uh, yeah, yeah, that's good. That's good for now. All right. So, what do you guys think about evolving Pikachu? I mean, I'll have to take a look at the level it moves again, but I don't know. We do have a Psychic TM, so I mean, yeah, we saw firsthand what a Lolan Raichu can do with Psychic. Um, but yeah, other than that, I don't know. Hopefully we'll get some more electric type TMs. I don't know if you know what, I'm just gonna check real quick to see if we have any, because that charge beam is not very good. Which is a little bit weird. Because I think it's like 60 base power. Or no, it's 50 actually, isn't it? Yeah, it's 50 base power. Alright, so I guess that makes sense. Grass and oh right, that doesn't have base power. I thought that was a hundred. I'm like, what? Alright, hidden power? No. I'm just going through real quick to see what Pikachu can learn. Because I want Pikachu to excel in battle, but right now that's not really happening. Yeah, it's not really looking like anything here is um, going to help all that much. We don't have any more Electric-type TMs. Anyway, that's enough rambling on about uh, strategy talk. I'm going to end the episode here. So uh, thank you all so much for watching. Really hope you enjoyed the video. And I'll see you in the next video. Till then, goodbye everyone. Have a great day.